If you are a student of Technical University in Košice or pursuing student of this university, this video will help you to understand the system of dormitories of Technical University. What can you learn in this video? You will learn how to start a contract at the dormitory. You will find out what are the rules for the payment of the dormitory fees. We will speak about the dormitory rules as well as hygienic rules. Important will be definitely for you to learn how to get access to internet and access to washing machines, how to make reservation for dormitory bed for next academic year, how you can cancel dormitory contract before June, and finally, what are the conditions of shifting out from dormitory in June. If you just need just specific information from the list which I just mentioned, you can skip to given section by clicking on the time in the description of this video. There are six dormitories in Košice and two dormitories in Presho for students of Tuk. Usually the dormitories are assigned according to the faculty you are studying. If you study at faculty of mechanical engineering, you will most probably get Boženy Nemcovej 1 or Urbankova 2 dormitory. If you are student of Faculty of Economics, Faculty of Electrical Engineering and Informatics, you will most probably get Jedlikova 5, Jedlikova 9 or Jedlikova 13. Finally, if you are student of Faculty of Aeronautics, you will get Rampova 7 dormitory. For students who are studying Faculty of Manufacturing Technologies, you can get dormitories in Budatelska 13 or Budatelska 31. Usually there are canteens and cafeterias located directly at dormitories. If you want to use them, you need to get IC card, which is student ID card, and you need to have some balance. A certain amount, which is usually 30 to 50% of the bill, is being deducted after each purchase at the canteen. For exact information, I would suggest to check a process condition directly at the canteen. A condition contract is always for a period of time from September up to the June. Once you sign a contract, you need either to stay up to June or pay cancellation fee of 30 euros per every month. We will speak about prior cancellation of the contract later on. The most important rule is that you must be a student in order to get dormitory bed. If you are not enrolled at the university or your studies are interrupted, you must either unregister from dormitory or pay amount for non-students, which is 10 euros for every day. Another important rule is that you need to reserve a bed and pay reservation fee. The reservation fee is 100 euros and you need to pay it by July end. If you sign a contract in September, you do not need to pay 300 euros, but only 200 euros. If you pay reservation fee in July and decide to go for the private flight once you come to Slovakia, you cannot get reservation fee back. If you are a student of TUG, everything is okay. And here is the list of documents which you need to bring with you. It is passport, receipt of payment for first three months of the dormitory contract. And in case you are below 18 years, you will need to bring also consent from your parents that they agree with your stay at dormitories. Let's speak about the dormitory rules for payments. The dormitory rent for one month is 100 euros and the rent is paid every three months, not monthly. The contract starts in September, so even if you come in October or later on, your contract will still start in September and you need to pay rent for September as well. Only bank transfer is possible. Cash or debit card payments are not possible. Bank transfers in Slovakia work only on working days, which means Monday to Friday except for state holidays. It takes two working days for the bank transfer to be completed and bank transfers do not run on Saturday and Sunday. Therefore, one making 
payments for the dormitory rent, make sure that you will transfer the amount at least two working days before deadline. As we mentioned already, the rent is due every quarter for three months, which means 300 euros. If the full payment is not credited on time, so for example, you pay only 200 euros instead of 300 euros, then a penalty will be hiring up. Monthly payments are possible only in case of approval from both of dormitories in really urgent cases, such as death of family relative serious financial situation in home and so on. Please check a link in the description of this video to get full information about the bank account, IBAN, variable symbol, specific symbol to make bank transfers so the money will come on time. As we speak already, it's necessary to pay dormitory rents with bank transfer, so cash or card payment is not possible. What to do if you have uh, cash in your card and you wish uh, to pay the dorm rent? First of all, you will need to go to some Slovak bank. The most famous one among foreign students are VUB Bank, Tatra Bank, Slovenska Spoletialnia or uh, FIO Bank. The difference is that in case of FIO Bank, uh, the bank accounts are for free. Also, if you are over 26 years and you do not need to bring any confirmation from school that you are still student and that you are below 26 uh, years old. For other banks, you need to bring this uh, confirmation. Usually there is some uh, approval uh, needed from the bank officials, which will take one to two days. So usually one day you will come to bank to submit documents and second day you will get your bank account open. Also, it's necessary to point out that bank accounts can be open only if you are over 18 years. How does it look? You will come uh, to bank, you will submit all the documents and you will get your bank account uh, open. Then you will deposit your cash to office in the bank. The money will be credited instantly and then you will send the money. Either you can send it with mobile banking, which is application for smartphones. So everywhere you go, you, uh, you can do online transfers. Second option is that you will get credentials for uh, internet banking and you can do the transfers using your notebook. Once you send the money, within 20 to 30 minutes latest, you will get confirmation from the bank and this confirmation uh, you can show to dormitory office. Let's speak about the deadlines for payment of dormitory rent. The first payment is from 1st of September to end of November. As you paid already reservation fee, which was 100 euros, you need to pay 200 euros after you come to Slovakia. This payment should be done before you sign a contract or within three days after signing contract. Second payment, which is 300 euros, is from 1st of December to end of February. You need to do transfer minimum of two working days before the end of November. There is penalty of 50 cents for every day of delay. Third payment is 300 euros and it covers March, April and May. The money must be credited before the end of February. Make sure to deposit the money minimum two working days before the deadline. Last payment for June is 100 euros and it needs to be credited before the start of June. There is also option to stay at dormitory during the summer, so-called summer accommodation, and you can decide either you can stay in July or August, or you can stay both July and August. Then you will pay 100 euros or 200 euros, but you cannot cancel the contract, so money will always stay with the dormitory. Now we will speak about the most important rules for students uh, who are staying at dormitories. First of all, when you come to the room uh, as a new student, you need to check it if everything is working, if uh, there is nothing broken, if there are no problems. 
This is very important because if you do not report that, for example, bed is broken or lights are not working, in that case, at the end of the academic year, you will need to cover it by yourself. Secondly, what is really important is that it is your responsibility to keep your uh, room and common premises clean during your stay. Cleaning ladies are there, but they take care only of uh, common premises such as corridor or uh, kitchen floor, toilets and bathrooms, which are common for all uh, students. They are not responsible for cleaning your room and for taking garbage out to the bin. This means that every student is responsible for his or her own room, and if the room is not clean, the student can be penalized. The dormitory office is doing regular checkups in rooms. And if the room is uh, not clean, then all students who are living in the room, they will get penalty. The first penalty is 15 euros, second penalty is 25 euros and uh, after third penalty you will get 40 euros and you need to uh, vacate uh, dormitory. Once you will vacate the dormitory, you need to find new apartments to submit new address to foreign police within five working days. And uh, also it's important to make a note that uh, private accommodation is usually 150 to 200 euros for bed or uh, if you are really lucky you will get a single room. Usually, dorm office is checking following things in the room. It's cleanness of rooms, bathrooms, toilets. Uh, then they will check if you don't use cookers or inductions in the rooms, which is prohibited. Dust, dirtiness of floor, trash, uh, which is there for a long time. And finally, they can also check the fridge if there are no some food after expiration. Uh, next rule is that all students need to pay the full amount, which is 300 euros every quarter for accommodation. And they need to notice that there is correct IBAN, variable symbol and specific symbol. For every day of delay, you need to pay 50 cents of penalty. The next rule is that the students need to comply with safety regulation and fire preventions. Especially, it's really forbidden to use cookers and electrical appliances in uh, rooms. Uh, you can cook only in kitchen. There are also stoves, there are all the equipment uh, in the kitchen, so please do not cook in a room. Everyone, of course, understands that there is some time difference between your country and uh, Slovakia, uh, but please notice that there are many students in dormitories and usually loudly calls to home are very disruptive to sleeping of other students in uh, dormitories. Now let's take a look on uh, internet, washing machines and gym access. These services are being offered by the student council. In Slovak we call it občanske zruženje. There is student council in each dormitory and it's a different entity from dormitories which means that if you pay fee for this council you need to pay it to the different bank account. All the registration links you can find in the description. The payment for one semester is 27 euros. One semester means five or six months. And this amount needs to be transferred to the bank account of the student council, not of the bank account of the dormitory. Once uh, you send money, you will go to the PC club, which is also one club within the student council, and you will get access to the internet, washing machine, and to the gym. Washing machines. There are special rooms for washing machines at dormitories. You can get access to washing machines only if you are a member of the student council. You can get keys of washing machines only at the reception and you need to show the IC card at the reception. Once the washing is done, you need to give back the keys and you will get back your IC card. For a gym, you will use it in very same way as you are using the washing machine 
you will come to the reception, show the IC card, get the keys. Once the using of the gym is over, you will return keys to the reception. Make sure that once you don't use a gym anymore, please clean everything in the gym so other people uh, can use it uh, very instantly. Now we will be speaking about dorm reservation. Uh, you need to inform dormitory office that you are interested to stay at the dorm for next academic year. This information is given to dormitory office by using MICE which is electronic system used at the university and it's done electronically usually by mid of April. You will need to fill in some short questionnaire and you will definitely get dormitory because you are foreign students. If you want to complete your reservation, you need to pay reservation fee of 100 euros. Once you pay the reservation fee, your reservation is complete. If you don't, it will be cancelled and your bed will be offered to other interested students at Duke. Now we will be speaking about cancellation of dormitory contract. Uh, as you already know, the rent for one month is 100 euros. If you want to cancel the dormitory contract, you need to come to the accommodation office and you need to announce them that you wish to cancel, for example, you wish to go away in April. Then in uh, April, you will need to pay so-called cancellation fee, uh, which is 30 euro for every month, which makes your stay shorter. So for example, if you live in April, then you need to pay 30 euro for May and 30 euro for June. So totally you will pay 60 euro in uh, penalty. If you already paid, for example, 300 euro for three months, then if there are some money extra, this uh, 60 euros will be deducted and the difference you will get back. How this unregistration works? Uh, you will come to dorm office, you will pick up so-called uh, living paper, in Slovak we call it odchodka, and you will then go to cleaning lady. Cleaning lady will check if your room is clean, uh, if nothing is broken, if everything is as on the very first day. And if everything is okay, then uh, she will sign it. With these keys, bed sheets, and living paper, you will then go to dorm office. Uh, it's important also to notice that even uh, if there is one or two days already in the month, you will need to pay for the full month, regardless if you vacate on 2nd or 22nd of April, you will still need to pay 100 euros for a whole month. If you want to shift out uh, from dormitory in uh, June, which means in the month when your studies, when your academic year is over, uh, the process is the same as we described already. There is only one difference, which is that you do not need to pay cancellation fee. Uh, make sure that everything is clean. You need to clean not only the room, but also bathroom, toilet. Also, if there is any fridge in your room, they will check it. If there is no ice, there shouldn't be any food. There shouldn't be any liquids anywhere. And once you leave it, then you cannot come back. So don't forget to take anything from the room. Some dormitories are usually also providing a service that you can pay for a full room as summer accommodation, and then you can keep the stuff uh, inside the room. This is good for you, especially in case that you will go back to your home country, but you don't want to take all the stuff uh, with you. Instead, you will keep it at some dormitory room and you can go to your home only with one small bag.